This is the uh, second video about class flow. In the first video we set up a class list. In this video we're going to produce a lesson. To do a lesson we go to resources and new and go to lesson. You see a new section code now with the, these things are called cards. That's this is the lecture card. Go down to the bottom here like that. We have another card. So this is the one the students see on the whiteboard. This is the one they will see on their device if you put anything on the device them to see. So lecture card, student card. Now this uh, lesson is going to be about animals, so we need to look at the board here and put a text in here, we can type animals, just stretch it out a bit, there, and perhaps Centralise it like that. So that's the title. Now we've also needed a diagram. Now, diagrams can be obtained in different ways. So let's go to this one at the left hand side here which says insert. And down here we could go to my resources which shows you get Bing images or YouTube videos, Bing web pages. But I want to insert a diagram which I've already got on my computer. So I'll go to Upload New Resource. That will take me to my computer. And this is the diagram I want. Animals 1. So I'll open that. And there it is. Insert it. And there it is on my board. I bring it down, you can centralise this by looking at these two lines. And of course you can also, if you want to, make it bigger. Now you might want this to appear on your students as well, so click on the student card. Go to insert again. Pick that one and insert again. And that's on now on the student card which we can bring I'll do it, it's near enough centre anyway you'll notice that there's no heading on here because the students only see what you put on their iPad which is this diagram the next thing we need to do is give them some notes so we need to go down to get a new card which is down here Add a card. We've got new cards now, one for the lecturer, one for the students. In here, we're going to put some notes. So we need to go to text again and put some notes in here, uh, start them off in here. And stretch it out so it goes in one line and I'll put some more down there so these are some of the notes uh, put on the, for the animals uh, notice the except is a hummingbird moth so I would like to show them a diagram of a hummingbird moth to do this we need another page on the card And we have another card. Now we want to insert a diagram. So now we'll go to insert again. 
and this time I'm going to go to look for a Bing image and in there I'm going to have to put hummingbird moth and search several images come up here you can pick whichever you one you want um, I think I'll just pick it's coming back again I'll just pick this one doesn't really matter and upload it I've not upload it sorry insert it there's a picture of the hummingbird moth which we've got again we can centralize it that's that make it bigger if you want to like that or whatever you want to do that's what I think and you might want to let them see this on their iPad as well so if we go to there and insert again and insert again it's on their iPad now so they can see the diagram and so can you uh, the next section was about mammals so we need another card we are at the card and here we're going to put some notes so we'll go to text again and a heading just stretch it out make it central and in here I want a diagram and I'm going to get a diagram I've got from my own book so I'll go to insert again and now I'm going to go to upload a new resource this is from my computer and here so here I've got the diagram of mammals which is on my computer I'll open that and just upload the new resource sorry not that one I want to insert not upload insert and there's the diagram again like it was before so you can put it where you want central i'll leave it about there so there's the diagram you could put it on the student's ipad if you want to but i haven't bothered in this lesson look at the mammals you've got a, a cat cow elephant tiger and a whale which is a mammal of course although it's in the sea human beings are mammals and the bat which is a mammal so again now we want some notes so we'll go down to add a new card and we'll put some notes in here so with text again and you can put some notes in here before stretch it out centralize it and so these are some of the notes about mammals that I put down you make your own notes of course but these are some notes and now I've done that I want to let the student see a video about mammals. So we need to insert into the card, add a card. In here we're going to insert a video. So you can do this two ways. You go to insert and look on YouTube videos 
find the video you want and insert it. But if you know which video you're looking for, the best way is to use something else. So we'll go to, instead of insert, we'll go to this sign here which says link. Uh, in link, we use custom HTML, and this down here we've got to put down the, uh, the code for the video we're going to look at. So to do that, we'd have to go to YouTube first of all. So open the YouTube page, we search for mammals. And the one I want is this one here, educational video for kids, so I'll click on that. And here we have the video, if you click on that. And uh, Ernest and I are putting your bear in a book. We're putting you in it too. Discover the story behind the love classic. Why does everyone like adverts to go? This is a mammal's video we want. Now, to get this onto our <coughs> lesson, we need to go to share and embed. This is the embed code. So we need to copy the, <coughs> copy the embed code. Get out of uh, YouTube. So go back to Mammals again. And in here, we need to copy that link. Add to the current card. And <clears throat> you see the video now appears on here. You can't see it until you deliver the lesson or you could preview it but you could can't see it to do the lesson so what we've done now we've got uh, notes on animals some diagrams on animals notes on mammals a diagram of mammals and a video on mammals the next thing to do now is to deliver the lesson <laughs>